This day, July 9th, 2019, marks the 10th year anniversary that the Cook County Sheriff's Department came into Bro Oak Cemetery to bring to light the illegal operation of a widespread grave reselling scheme here. As you may well be aware of, the scheme involved several employees and staff here at the cemetery who illegally desecrated, desecrated and sold graves to grieving families. It involved over 200 graves, but well affected over 3,000 families. Our gathering here today is being done to, number one, to keep alive the memory of that day and the events that led up to it so that it may not happen again. And to also memorize the souls of the loved ones whose graves were desecrated, in addition to providing continued to support to the affected families. Number two, to bring attention to the current conditions here at Broad Cemetery, where there continues to be massive flooding throughout the cemetery, badly damaged roads, which makes it very difficult for grieving families to visit the graves of their loved ones. I think they are doing a decent job at trimming the graves. It depends on no. the timing. We had, no. we had massive flooding uh, this March and April, but if there's an issue that someone wants to bring up where we need to look at the graves and look in the section, just all you have to do is make a complaint in the office and we will yeah. deal with it. Um, now you said that you came out and there was gray, uh, grass up to your father. Is, yeah. it, yes. is it there now? Uh, no, it's not there now. Okay. No, because of my uh, consistent efforts coming out here to the cemetery. Uh, hopefully that helped. And, uh, but uh, as, as I said, this is not here to uh, uh, point any fingers and say, you know, right. this is that we want to work together right. uh, to move forward to ensure that these conditions improve. We want our families to, to die in dignity, be buried in dignity. And to, you know, when I when I have when I go to visit my son's grave, grave, I want to see grass. I don't want to see dirt. I don't want to see mud. I don't want to see plywood on the floor. I, I want to see my son. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to sit there for a moment yes. and have a meditate with my son. Yes. And I think that what Burr Oak doesn't realize is that this is adding more pain, more pain to, to the, the family. Families. More pain to the family. When families. I go in here and I can't see my son and I can't look at his grave and I can't, I have to dust it off mm -hmm. and I have to have, put water on him just to clean off his grave. Mm -hmm. yes. This is the pain that I feel. And it's an embarrassment yeah, when people want to go, when people want to go and visit my son and they take a picture of my son, great. And it looks bad. We work hard to make our, our loved ones' last moments to be respectful. And it's your job, and it's the job of your maintenance to keep these graves. I shouldn't have to tell you to cut the grass. That should be something that's done weekly or bi-weekly or whatever, anytime, and all over. And as I said, we're, we're, we're going to be working with, with the cemetery from this day forward. And hopefully, as I said, we'll be able to meet with them once a month. We know, we acknowledge, we recognize that the current owners of Broad Cemetery inherited, inherited a big problem, a big problem.